so we have completed the Ender Ender. Yes, we have. It's awesome. I had to turn my volume down by a lot. Yeah. Because these guys are loud. It's so awesome. Infinite amount of XP. We have now gained immortality. Yep. And it took us, what, two days? Yeah, kind of. If you were to stretch it between two days, yeah. Compared Started to... Started last night. Yeah. All the other ones. Oh, this one was definitely quicker. I think because we built this one so many times. It's just, you know, it's it's easy to remember it. Yeah. I still had to check my testing world for a reference, but... For the majority, I mean, I remembered it. So we got some stuff over here. Some leftovers. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and get that ender chest. I'm gonna get me a shulker box out. This will be for my items. So one thing I do know for sure is the netherrack is mine. Uh, the redstone lamps are mine. You said you were going to donate this block of iron. Yep. To, uh, so we have future anvils. Let's see. I'm pretty sure all the redstone stuff's mine. And I know two obsidian is, so we get to split this obsidian. Oh, take your crying obsidian. That's yours. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my half of the obsidian so you can take your half. Okay, so are we saying all the redstone stuff's mine? Yeah. Okay, all the glass is yours. Redstone stuff. Um, yeah, so to get the Endermite earlier, it only took one Ender Pearl. Like, I threw one kind of accidentally, and that was right before I started recording. And then, boom, it was right there. I was like, ah, I gotta push the record button. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. Usually it takes like three stacks or more. Okay. Um, the bath salt's yours. I know that. The ice is mine. And then, was the spruce yours or mine? Uh, I think it was yours. Okay, you can have all the blackstone stuff if you want. I'll take the chests and the trap doors. And honestly, ender pearls, they are they're infinite now, so Yep. And then yeah, this is my random stuff. So that's everything. Yep. Heck yeah. <laughs> Finally, the Ender Ender. I've been waiting a long time for this. Same here. Wow, that is so awesome. Now we can get, like, an insane amount of tools and pickaxes. Well, I guess it's a tool, huh? Yeah. Weapons. Ah, just anything. Okay, I ended my Thank you for helping me with this. I know that your job wasn't, you know extremely exciting. You were just kind of being my satellite. Yeah. But it's a very important position, and I appreciate that. Yep. And Everybody course... go and check out this build that we did on Rokuska's channel for the perspective of it. Yes, I've put a ton of editing into this one to make sure that it looks awesome. I just left a bunch of XP over there. Because you did. <laughs> it's freaking everywhere. You don't want to pull one of our uh, members of the server. Say what? I said you don't want to pull what one of our members of the server, Dade. That's if I keep slicing and never stop. True. This thing will be able to crash the server. Yep. Let's do it. Oh no. 
Let's crash it. Nah. <laughs> okay, end of that clip. So you ready for this whole entire world uh, tour thingy? Yeah, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I don't know either. <laughs> All right. Yep. Um, I don't know about you, but I guess one of the first places I want to check out is Treswell's newest build. He's not even done with it yet, but I haven't got it on camera yet, and it looks pretty sweet. Yeah. I just... Man, sometimes he comes up with color palettes and... Just, you know, the material palettes that I've never even thought of. Like, I mean, he's using dark oak and glass. Glass panes, even. Yeah. That's a pretty good idea. Like, that just, for some reason, pops. It looks really good. Well, I mean, he's even using <laughs> the uh, court stairs as well. Yep. Oh, and, and acacia doors. Yeah. Acacia doors are great because you can see through them better. I like them better. But this is supposed to be our train station. Yep. This is the train. Like, he's built from all the way to the Ender Ender. Goes to the portal over there. Yeah. Which is actually the next place we can go. It's the, uh... He's made, like, a building, and we can have our own apartment. It's really cool. Yeah. It's a really great idea. Like, this is a really massive project that he's taking on. But yeah, I mean, other than that, this is pretty much everything to look at. I don't know how it's going to finish and connect. This is just all he's done so far. Yep. I think it was just earlier today. It it wasn't even this tall at all. It's like he just started. So huh. he got a lot done in one day. Yeah. I don't do that very often. No. I'm mostly afraid I'm going to run into something. And now I'm way off course. There mm -hmm. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Sorry. I lost I'm track of you. You turned into a little bug and then you disappeared. I was just kidding. But yeah, <laughs> check this out. I don't think any of my viewers have seen this building yet. I don't think any of mine have either. That and this little building. So this is little building is probably going to be the receiving area for the uh, mine cart track. Yeah. And over here, this is kind of like our safe building. And yeah, our uh, our stronghold was located below a desert. Yeah. This will be the desert that we decimate. Mm-hmm. We know I've need... already kind of started back there. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need tons of concrete. So, yeah, I'll be visiting this place probably over in that direction. Yep. But need tons often. of glass and authentic glass. And, and yeah, this is, how you, this is how you get in here. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gets me every time. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, as you can see, my name's on here. Rakuska Apartment C. Don't yep. know why it's Apartment C. I just kind of put that to be funny. But this is kind of my little apartment. You, <laughs> you get a you get a lower floor and uh -huh. an upper floor. And I've kind of asked him if this was going to be like our second city because we wanted to make multiple cities for different reasons. And he said, no, this is not a, it's not a city. It's just a little safe house. Because down here, that's where the portal's going to be. Yep. But yeah, on his side, he's put some shulker boxes down. It's got some stuff in it, but he hasn't decorated it either. This is Traswell's. Ah, oh well. <laughs> I didn't mean to sleep in his bed, but <laughs> his it's okay. Bed. Yep. So yeah, I'm actually 
Maybe maybe I can decorate my side just a little bit. Maybe. Because it's been a while. My cat's being noisy. Yeah, I can hear her. So gonna have to edit just a little bit. Uh whiny. Why is she so whiny? <laughs> Okay, throwing my focus off. I am going to do this because it has all kinds of crafting stuff. Well, then everybody knows now you have a cat. Yeah, I love her. She's lazy. <laughs> but I think she wants out of this room right now, and she's letting me know that. Okay, some of these. Yeah, some furnaces. Maybe a blast furnace. Yeah, no, I need to come over here sometime to work on mine. I kind of wanted this fence, but I don't think anyone else is doing that, so I'm just going to... Because mm -hmm. I'm going to place these down, and it's just going to connect to everything. Hmm. Maybe something like that. Got a crafting table. Ooh, an ender chest has to be here. That has to be a thing. Oh, it looks like Melora has some stuff over here, too. And a chest. I think that's pretty much it. Looks good to me. Yep. I gotta check, but I don't know if I have a bed. Maybe I should have put the ender chest up here. Put the ender chest up here and then do a double chest down there. So I'll need one more of these. Hmm, I don't I don't have a bed. Yeah. Oh I got is a red one. That's okay. So then I'll just take this one. My need to sleep bed. Okay. <laughs> That's everything. Yeah. Okay, so I have disposed of my cat out of this room. Yep. So it'll be a lot easier for me. Yeah. But yeah, now we're going to the Ender Ender. A throwaway joke. Oh, I get it. Right in. <laughs> the joke on there is great. <laughs> he must really be uh, enjoying his uh, Christmas present. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I didn't know anybody had a trident. Yep. Yeah, you follow this line of torches, and it goes straight to the portal. When we first was looking for this portal, we actually went, like, in the opposite direction, all the way around until we finally found this. Yep. When it was just straight this way. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't know that at the time. Nope. So, yeah, basically, when you go in here... Mm -hmm. This is the spawning platform, and this is the extension. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, I love our statues. Every different... Every different member. Nice up and down elevator. And see, this design is really awesome, because we built this before. But this time, we were able to keep the column water look. Yeah. You know, before the waterlogged or the water would merge all the way down there and it would just merge everything here. But I created I created a way to prevent that from happening this time. So we have the intended look. Yep. Which is awesome. Nice automated cart system. Yep. Which I almost missed that. I stepped on it way too soon. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then here it is oh yep. <laughs> Whoa. wow that okay. wasn't <laughs> um I was like oh 
What just happened? Um, didn't you say earlier through the chat that you uh, made one of them mad? Yeah, when I was coming back, but I had killed him on the rails. I think that was just one that got lucky, just like that one, and there's two of them. There's three of them back here. Huh. Well, when they take damage, they have a chance to spawn on the outside. Yeah. And then every once in a while, they'll actually fall off the platform and hit the water and then spawn in. So they won't be one hit kills. Some of them come in just naturally. But for the most part, this place is pretty tight. Yeah. I mean, I definitely like the color palette for this place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is really cool. And how advanced this place is as well. Yeah. Like, you got the hoppers picking up the pearls. It sends it through a water elevator. It fills up all these chests. And then when that's done, we have an item overflow protection and it just spits out the extra ones. An unlimited supply of ender pearls. And in the very back top hoppers. Right in there. We got some ender heads. Yeah, we have an ender head in here. Oh really? Yep. It made it it made it past the filter? Yeah. Oh that's crazy. Yeah, I mean the item can once in a while go over the f Oh well I guess it can't. It has to go in the first one. It somehow bypassed this filter. Huh. So yeah, if we were able to take an item out of here, then it would just flood the heads in, and then it would break the filter and yeah. And it's the same thing on this side as well. So if anybody wanted ender pearls, it would be wise to take from like, not those chests marked. Yeah. Know. That's for sure. It's gonna be loud, uh, forgive me. But yeah, tons and tons of XP and you can come down here and enchant. <laughs> we got books, lapis, just any, any table that I think you would ever need. Got yep. a blast furnace. No fuel. I don't know if you'll actually need it, but we've always had it here. Yeah. Extra anvils. That's always smart. Yeah, it's a cool place. We've made a lot of Ender Enders in our time, and this design is the one that we keep remaking because it's just its fantastic. I just love it. And it seems like we have a beacon over here, too. Yes, that's another new thing. Yeah. For the sake of the tour, I will mm -hmm. go into spectator mode. Uh, because it's extremely dangerous up here. But yes, this is the first time that we were able to put a fully powered beacon here. Because normally we make this pretty early on in the game. Yep. And we don't really have the resources for that. But this time we went all out and got a fully powered beacon. So right now we have resistance and I think it's... What is the one that makes your hearts go back up? Um. Yeah, I can't uh, regeneration. Of... Regeneration, that's it. But here's the drop shoot. Mm hmm. And then the, the wonderful platform that does all the work for us. Well, actually, this little guy does. <laughs> little Endermite. I think I named him Enderbait. Mm hmm. Yeah, in the past, I remember this being in the middle and then, like, water and. Yes, in the past I had a design where it was in the middle. The platform itself was much smaller than this one. And, well, it worked up till 113, I believe. It was when the Aquatic Update came out. But they changed something that had to do with the Endermen and how they pathfind. And it, to me, it just made them seem like they, their pathfinding was a lot stupider because they couldn't go around certain things. And, well, it just it became a flawed invention then. So Yeah. But this one, this was made by, I believe, I discovered it from this guy, Kaisen. This is how to uh, trap the Endermite, and they funnel in there really well. All I had to do was add a little bit of extra blocks on the edge here, because a lot of them would push each other off of the edge, which still happens. It does happen every once in a while. But by adding this, I... I, I Seem it seems like it happens a lot less. So, but yeah, we've made this a few times, but this is by far the best one. Yeah. 
and uh, that is the Ender Ender. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll I'll do a uh, tutorial on how to make it. Yeah. Place is well, I don't know what he calls it, but it, I'm, I I always call it the pyramid. Yeah. I really like the looks of this place. Oh, watch out! Don't watch. Yeah. Don't look at the Enderman. So the thing about this Enderman is it he's been here for so many days mm -hmm. holding, holding that same grass block and somehow in some way he teleported in, be, in between the water and the tree and he's just been there ever since. He just keeps walking back and forth, back and forth mm -hmm. and he's just become part of the place. Yeah. Which is awesome. Traswell calls him the manager. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I always thought that was awesome. But another reason why we're here, other than to look at this awesome build, is I need some food. I mean, need is a strong word, but you know me. I like to stock up. Yep. And I don't yeah, know he is out of bone mill because of me. Oh, yeah. I haven't bought from him for a while. He's out of meat. That's okay. Oh, he has golden carrots now, too. Yeah. So how many of these do I want to do? One, two, three, four, five. So five times six. Perfect. You must really like that pumpkin pie. Who? You. Hey, it's, it's four hunger hunches. <laughs> Got to do it. But yeah, he's basically supplied me with the food the entire season so far. Okay. Oh yeah, I was I was I was thinking maybe some golden carrots as well. Well, I thought I almost looked at the Enderman. That's why I almost thought too. Yeah, I was I was telling Traswell if if he was to ever be taken away from that spot then I would probably back up I would probably roll back the server just so he's there again <laughs> <laughs> honestly because I think that's so cool yeah I don't know what it is if it's just the mechanic or what but he seems to be confused and stuck there okay you want a tour of the rustic store? Yep. So it does some uh, changes <laughs> over here. Always with the door. I know. I'm sorry. It's just a habit now. Mm -hmm. Just I've, I've played this game with you so long. It's just it's a, it's a it's a thing. Yep. But yeah, yeah. I've already seen this upgrades, but I know my viewer hasn't. My viewers haven't. I can't even yeah. speak. <laughs> Yeah, the glow berries are awesome. Yep. It kind of gives it more light. Melora was kind of saying that it needed more light over here. I, I agree. I agree. But you've also added more items. Yep. Move the callus side. <laughs> oh, man. That's such a great idea. Yeah. Do a 64 stack of that for five diamonds. It's just you constantly... You almost have to raise your price because people are just buying you out. Yep. Redstone. I would I would buy more of this if I uh, didn't already have billions. Yep. Powdered snow. Honey blocks. See, you move stuff around because honey blocks, I remember, were over there. Yeah. Got your copper, your candles, tinted glass. Soul speed. I unfortunately found out that you can't have that with Depth Strider. Yeah. Are you sure uh, about that? Yeah, it is, it is true because I even tried it myself and can't have oh, it. Oh man, that is it's, such it's a like, bummer. Yeah, it's the same thing like Frost Walker. That's such a bummer because Depth Strider 3 is just. Oh, man, it's just the king. I need it. Yeah. Fire resistance. Axolotl. Yep. Ooh. 
yeah, I'd like to make some sort of a fish tank, put them in there and put a couple. Well, no, 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 I can't put guardi guardians in there either, can I? No, because they'll fight. Hmm. That sucks. Waxing service. Drip leaf. Yeah, that's crazy. You already have this many. Yep. That's where all the Traswell's Cause... bone mill went. Yeah, because because we're, we're not even in 1.18 yet. Yep. So, yeah, the fact that you have that many, that's crazy. Drip stone. Four per stack. Okay. How big is your stack going to be? Uh, Probably a 64 stack. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so that's a new item, definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also the fact that you're using glass and then the shulkers from my store. Yeah. Yes. I see the awesome. dirt over here. This is the rooted dirt. Oh, yeah. A little bit of the pixel difference. Yep. Yeah, Lighter. That, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. What is that? So soil... Mm -hmm. It's a little sand. Quartz. I'm surprised you're not bought out of quartz. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> Laura likes the quartz as well. Oh, yeah. I have so much quartz now. I've been mining like crazy. Yeah. Blackstone. I know you haven't sold a whole bunch of blackstone, but I still think it's very important that you keep it in here. Yep. Because it's such a useful block, and then when you need a lot of it, all right, somebody's going to buy you out. Yeah, especially if it's for, like, one diamond per stack. Right. I do think this is a little overpriced, honestly. <laughs> but you do get 16. Yeah. And if you were making, like, some sort of a... Well, you know, like, some mob farms have it now, where it's just an area where they, they drop and then get killed over it. Yep. So, I mean, 16 would, would do it, and it would be worth it. I mean, that's basically the heart of the farm would be... That's how they die. Yeah. So, uh, that's pretty good. And then beacons. I already have a beacon, but soon, <laughs> soon enough, I'll be buying some more. Yep. So, you only added really that one, right? What? Oh, and, and the drip leaf. So, just these two? Uh, I added the axolotl. And oh, I think that oh, was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I added like three more. Cool. But yeah, I like your changes. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I had a cough. Oh, you're good. I just started sounding different. I still feel like I sound different, but... Huh. But anyway, yeah, this is the post office. Yep. I really like the detail. Yeah. I'm the one that... I, I'm the one that moved that package sideways. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe um, Laura came over here one day and got her pickaxe stuck. Oh, you haven't finished that then. What? No. Oh. Yeah, I guess I could put a couple more glass in here. Yeah, you had to make some changes. Yeah, I had Apparently to. Apparently when... I had to uh, basically make this kind of more out back wall as a redstone. Yeah, you had to change the redstone because when it would power the lamp, it would power the two lamps on the side. Yeah. Yeah. It, you were hard powering it, so you had to create a system to where it would soft power the lamp so it wouldn't power the, the sides. Yeah, thank you for that help. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I love I love figuring out redstone. Yeah, I'm not really that great with the whole entire redstone. Like I can do like the easy redstone, but the hard redstone. I mean, and this one actually took me a little longer than I thought. I was just trying to find a nice compact way. I mean, yeah. not not everything always has to be about compact. I mean, as long as it's functional, but. I just wanted to create some sort of a compact design because I know you had to extend your building for this. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, it wasn't by much I had to extend it by. Right. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, the guy walking over here with the paper. That's, that's just, I love details like that. Yeah. 
It's like the barrel. I tried to do that to for the barrel. Just give yeah. it a bunch. I hear enemies. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. There's quite a bit of them. He missed me anyway. Mm -hmm. Terrible shot. Hey, got the banner. <laughs> yep. Sweet. I always like decorating places with that. Oh, I got a pillager's head. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Me, me in the suit with it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Want to go through the spawn house? <laughs> I like how this turned out. Yeah, same here. It definitely turned out different than I thought it would be. Yeah. By the way, I can hear your furnace. Yeah, no, it's really loud. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's oh, actually... it just went off. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard it turn off. Yeah. It actually, I was about to say, it actually kind of sounds, I don't know, comfortable, soothing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't annoying or anything. Yeah. I just noticed it. Oh, yeah, should we explain to everyone where we're going? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. And a man. Come on, man. You afraid? I would be if I were you. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. He's tough. Mm -hmm. I hit him four times. Anyways. Oh, yeah. You can see it right there. A little bit of the castle. We are going to yeah. Snowscaler and Gradcore's area. The bridge. I don't know. Maybe the bridge is finished. I like the top. Yeah. Right here. I mean, that's just brilliant. And then they did the whole, you know, the, the bark on the top now. Yeah, I think that was oh, Traswell. Yeah, yeah it was Traswell that built, that built this, yeah. And then, because he was tired of traveling there. Yeah. <laughs> and going through all of the, I, I don't know, I guess there was a lot of, too much forest and stuff. And Well, I couldn't even find their place in the beginning. And then I... See, it wasn't, and, that, yeah. wasn't that difficult, I could, but... But yeah, Traswell just he he committed to an entire bridge just so he could get there easier. Yep. <laughs> well, and it kind of connects to the town too. I mean, there's that. But yeah, um Snowscaler and Gradcore aren't on all the time. I would say that they attend the server the least. Yeah. Out of every out of everybody, but oh boy, we need to sleep. It's your thing. <laughs> I think you do it. Yeah. Yeah, no, everybody's like, you need to sleep. But Give apparently, all the time. Apparently, Gregcore's been working on this. And I think he was, there was a couple more, you know, different designs that they had going and he tore everything down and just redid this. And I really like the shape. Yeah. But he's going to take the dirt out, obviously, but he's going to put in this. And andesite, and I don't know. There's something about this combination that just looks great. Yeah, I'm telling you, the new nether rack looks so much better than the old one. You remember mm -hmm. the old one? Oh yeah. Alrighty, so <laughs> here we are at Traswell's barn. Yep. I see he made that change of the lightning rod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his uh, his roof caught on fire. We think, but. He had a lightning rod. It just, it was on wood. So I still, I think it still caught the roof on fire. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. That's See, why I haven't put anything, like I haven't put a lightning rod on any wood. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I know it's it's to get lightning to hit it, but it does does it doesn't actually prevent the fire, or is it supposed to? Well, I mean, it's not like. If it's close to wood, it's not supposed to catch the wood on fire. But I think if it's on 
the wood itself and it hits the lightning rod because it attracts it, then it'll catch it on fire. Hmm. Yeah, so on the barrel and my little kiosk, I put a stone wall variant uh, below it to yeah. make sure that it doesn't catch those on fire because, yeah, the barrel is mostly made out of wood and the kiosk is wood and wool, which are both very flammable. So Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I like their farm. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't messed with farming a lot because that's kind of what they're doing. Yeah. But, I mean, again, Traswell has been the one supplying me with all of my food, basically. Yep, same here. But, but yeah. And his, his stacks of hay, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. This is kind of where he lives soon, and we're going to go see it here real soon. The mansion house that Melora is building, that's kind of where he's going to live. But currently, I think he still lives here in the barn. Mm -hmm. So he has all that. Oh, he has food. He just hasn't put it in a store yet. Huh. <laughs> I'm snooping. Yeah, I was doing the same thing. It's just it's just a Minecraft thing, you know? You yep. Just... Like curious I saw an what axolotl got... in there. Yeah, you're curious to see what the other guy got, you know? Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, so I think there is another floor. Yep. Yeah, this is where... Oh, he has two... His... Wow, how many lightning rods do you have? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it was that very end lightning rod. But yeah, it had burnt kind of a hole. It really wasn't that bad. He was like, he was like oh, that's a lot. It's like, no, nah, it's literally just this little bit yeah. right here. But <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. But yeah, he put stone right below it. So yeah. hopefully that works. I mean, I would imagine. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really probably should just go on YouTube and figure it out. Yeah, sure I mean, some... from what I've seen from people, they don't put it, like, on their build. They just kind of put it... Away little... from it? Yeah. Hmm. It's not not by far, just, like, a little ways. Well, I mean, it's a lightning rod, so I just assume lightning rods go on buildings. Yeah. So I just assumed you put them on the building. But it makes sense that it wouldn't necessarily stop it. It just redirects it. Yeah. So if you put maybe something that's not flammable below it, it'll work. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm not even 100% positive on that. Got to sleep again? Yep. Night again. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice this. They have kelp growing. Oh. Huh. I did not even notice that. Oh. Huh. I'm going to show everybody this because... There are just a ridiculous oh, amount of entities. Animals. Yeah, I'm going to take the volume down to 30%. Yeah, because there is tons. Well, I mean, this is probably where most of the lag comes from. Yep. And some people would be like, oh, that's not even that bad. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, let me show you a little area back here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I have I... not seen this back here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have every color. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is like a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my frames are dipping. Look at that. 27, 16, 27, 20. Yeah, there's a lot of entities here. Oh, but entities. Yeah, they, they I just realized. Have... It shows the entities at the top. Let me let me try mm -hmm. to get it all. I'd say about 600 plus. <laughs> <laughs> they even have a bed over here. Oh, wow. I didn't see that part either. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Yeah. Like, I'm a little bit struggling.
yeah, so this this over here is just a taste of what's mm. back there. <laughs> Crazy. Yep, yeah, because this is all I've seen, like, of the animals. I never realized that there was a back. Yep. This is new. Yeah, I it saw is. this just today. Yeah. Getting the purper. Mm hmm. Melora likes her purper. And Melora also likes her houses. Yep. She's still working on this. This is probably, I, I don't know if she's doing any other projects, but this is a really big project. Yeah. So basically, like our bases are going to be to us. This house is, is the same to her, basically. Yeah. It's that scale of a build. It's like any time I'm coming over here, it's like it amazes me how how great yeah, that, this house is. That house is fantastic. Well, the shape just yeah. I mean, it looks like a legit house. She put detail into it. That's their little hidey hole. That's where they start a base, basically, but. Yep. But now she's building an underneath this massive glass. This is all like this is like a basement. Yeah. Only it's it dwarfs the house almost, and the and the house is just massive. That's how big the underneath is. As you can see, she's still digging away. Yep. It's crazy. It is just crazy. I thought this door was a newer, easier way to get in there, but no, that's that's not the case. <laughs> she added stairs. That makes it a lot easier. But yeah, here's some yeah. of the... That's the way to get from the top down. And then... Yeah. Huh. She added this walkway that you guys haven't seen before. Yeah. And trees. Like it was, it's been a while since I was last over here. Came over oh, really? here to kind of, yeah, have I you, came have... over here to spy on Craswell a little bit. <laughs> have you seen the stairs in the middle? Uh uh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen this one. At least I don't think I have. This room up here. Oh, no, I think I have actually. I'm missing some glass. Well, you can definitely tell that why she wants a lot of calcite. Oh yeah, she is. She is making you rich. <laughs> I've also been spending a lot to to your uh, store. But just think about it. That I mean, not so much on the inside, but if you go on the outside and you see how much quartz was put into this build. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, the amount is just... It's quite a bit. I wonder what's up with all this dirt blocks. Oh, these are probably just Endermen. We really need to get something on the server. Oh, yeah, because it's also tearing this up. We need to get something on the server from Vanilla Tweaks. We need to get, like, the Endermen no griefing thing. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's... It's getting out of hand. Because there's is a it? lot of builds. It's a lot of builds. You go into a building and there's just random blocks everywhere. It's yeah. So we need to do that. If you don't, if you realize it, I mean, Endermans will tear up a world. I mean, you just give them time, they'll just shred it. Yeah. Here's the back. Not too much. Not too much change back here. Maybe some trees and stuff. But yeah, the the basement's supposed to extend to this edge here. Huh. Oh yeah. Let me let me show you. It's crazy. Oh, you gotta be careful. There's some yeah. baddies down here. Oh, I thought he died a long time ago. I mean, once we probably switch over to 1.18, whenever we feel ready to, we shouldn't have too much problems. 
Oh yeah, it'll be definitely less light. Yeah. Less light required to keep them out. Yeah. That's for sure. So like right here, for instance. Yeah, because they said something about like complete darkness, which is like zero. It is zero. So let me see. I'm trying to find light levels. There's light. So even right here in this dark spot you see, yeah. it reach it reaches five and they still wouldn't be able to or no, I'm sorry, that's sky. Block is seven, so right now they would be able to, but in the new version of 118, they would not be able to. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, this is it. And it just, it goes on. It goes on and on. Easy. Like, even up here. Yeah, I think she's going to cut this in a little bit, but it's just... A lot. Yep. But the views that you get. I mean, even even this. Look at this view. Yeah, I know. I told her she should put like a bowling alley and stuff down here. Mm -hmm. But then we got we started getting ideas and stuff for mini games. Yeah. And that brings us to another project that we can do in the future is some some mini games. Yep. That would be that would be super fun. Cause I'm super into bowling and I would love to make a bowling lane of some sorts. Something yeah. fun. Oh yeah. There it is. Yep. This is Traswell's mob farm. He says it works, but it's not like super quick. But he's he's built like one of the OG designs from like back in the day. Is well, he? almost OG. I mean, but it, it's yeah, it's a pretty old design. Which is pretty awesome. Takes me back. <laughs> yep. Nothing yet. I told him that this is a good design and it would still work really well if you uh, built it higher up in the sky, but he already committed to it down here. And I was like, oh yeah. I, I don't think he was motivated on building it higher up in the world. Yeah. Which I get that. But man, I still think he should. I've killed a couple. <laughs> See, he's getting stuff from it, though. Wow, he's got some heads and, and stuff. I didn't even look at this earlier. Yeah. Oh, he's had a witch. <laughs> he's got seven <laughs> redstone in it. I don't know if he's taking anything out, but I don't know how long it's taken, obviously, to, to yeah. gather this stuff, but it isn't too, too bad. And we're still loading up, like, all the stuff below us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll <laughs> ruin the rates. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, we don't want to be over here and blow something up by accident. Oh, man. As soon as that creeper fell down, I was like, <gasps> oh, man. Yeah, no, there's one day I was over here because he was showing me. Oh, and, wow. Uh, it's the, it's there's hopping. like a creeper like right huh. there. Yeah, that's awesome. A mob farm is required for me in the future. <laughs> Maybe at my, my uh, base. Yeah, I kind like... of wish I had, had an understanding of how, like, never farms work. Oh, for the wither? Yeah. Or the wither skeletons? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I do understand them, but... I mean, I think they just use sweepers, right? Yeah, they use sleepers. Sweepers? Whoa, I had a major lag spike. Huh. This here is what they call the diving board. <laughs> Instead of going down the stairs, they just do this. <laughs> oh. have, they, have they added bone meal around here? I think they did. I feel like they have.
yeah, it's uh, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's uh, your uh, shulker box trash as well. Yeah, I put that there. I mm -hmm. uh, used some scaffolding and then placed it up there. Well, he he took his two presents, right? Mm -hmm. Which is totally fine. I mean, you you can take it whenever. But yeah. when he when he mined up the yellow shulker box, it went into Melora's inventory. <laughs> and he started running off. And, well, by the time he was already back at his place, that's when Melora realized, oh, you, you left one of your shulker boxes here. So then she placed it down. I took it. And then I, I put it up on some scaffolding. But I was like, nah, that's not high enough. So I made it go even higher. <laughs> <laughs> he was able then to come back. And then he was asking for it. And then we were like, oh, I don't know. I don't know where it's at. It's pretty close, though, you know? And he was like, oh, I don't have time for this. And then he went to the Ender Ender <laughs> <laughs> and just and just left it there. Oh, man. So I'm just going to leave that there. If only he just looked up. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, gonna he see how long... this. <laughs> I'm going to see how long it takes. But yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> episode of via crafted please like and subscribe for future videos yep also okay. for all of the links that help make my videos possible anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this one this is rakuska and lindell signing off enough feels right it feels right yeah. you know say that it feels right